Hey there, this is Caitlin. And Ben. From Homestead Collective, here with Ripe Creation Media. Um, we're bringing to you our April living room session. We just realized this is number 16, and that's pretty crazy um, and awesome. So um, we're just super thankful that we get to do these together and uh, foster collaboration with other artists and other creatives. Um, and so we're super excited to have The Promise is Hope, uh, indie folk all over the East Coast, mm-hmm. uh, Eric and Ash with us today yeah. uh, from Worcester, Massachusetts. And um, they're going to be sharing um, a song uh, together that we got to collaborate on today. Um, but before that, Ben has a yeah. on-the-spot question. Um, so I was wondering what your, like, I guess, Desert Island album is. You could only listen to one oh, album. No. What would it be? Oh, my goodness. That I can is a good one. make an artist, too, if, if that's too specific. Oh, I, I can do an artist. I have to go... <laughs> I have to go with Graceland, Paul Simon. I have to. Nice. It's not the deepest album in the world, but I think if I were stranded, I'd probably be pretty bummed out. And that album like just always puts me in a better mood. Right. Yeah. That is so funny because I was going to say Graceland for an album. <laughs> no but way. But then when you expanded it to artists, I was like, well, Paul, Paul Simon, Simon. Because then his collection's just so varied. and Sure. And yeah, you could spend a whole life just diving into his songs and right. trying to understand them. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good that answer. was a good one. Good that was hard. I had a little panic actually. Yeah. I, I was like, oh no. Yeah. Panic anytime somebody asks. It's like, don't limit my music What's listening. What's your favorite album? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's good though. That means you guys will be on the same desert island listening to the same. That could be yeah. nice. So oh, yeah, that would work out fine. <laughs> You're meant to meant to be yeah, on that desert island again. Um, Cool. So uh, can you tell us a little bit more about um, the songwriting process and uh, the story behind this song we're going about, about to play, Grateful? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for Ash and I, we write our songs separately. And then we kind of um, will bring like the bulk of a song to the other person and then flesh it out, cool. like the kind of final details together. Um Grateful, we released on our last album called Every Seed Must Die. And the record, though we didn't intend it to be a concept, um, really was dealing with death and loss um, because we had gone through this crazy, it's about a two-year period of time where um, we went to more funerals in that time than we had been like separately over the course of our entire life. Mm-hmm. So we were just like saying goodbye to lots of people. Um, some folks like pretty tragically and unexpected. And um, we were part of a community in Worcester that just kind of had taken a, a tough turn. And so things were disintegrating there. So it felt like a lot of um, our life was kind of being pulled at the seams in a bit, Mm -hmm. things were a bit upside down. So we um, turned to songwriting to to process through that. Grateful uh, was the last song written for the album. Mm -hmm. And it really was um, just a reflection on like, you know, when you're saying goodbye and and it's really easy to focus so much on what you don't have and what you've lost and that sort of thing. to lose sight of like all the beauty and the mystery that you do have in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, so that was, um, kind of how it was born. Just wanting to reclaim that, um, for myself and Uh yeah. That's great. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Um, and what else are you guys up to right now? What are you doing in music? music world yeah this spring we've been touring a lot um and that'll calm down soon the summers for us are a little bit calmer Mm -hmm. and so we've been on the road a lot and then um just right now just this week we are launching our patreon which we're really excited about we're gonna um we've been filming a lot of behind the song um, videos where we start talking about one of the songs that we wrote, but then, you know, just let it go and it turns into sort of a like video podcast type of thing. So Mm -hmm. we're doing those on Patreon and then we'll do some tour vlogging and things like that too. Mm -hmm. We just, you know, it's a cool way I think to cut through 
all like the social media and just it's so hard to reach people and connect with people even though we're so connected like overly communicating all the time so we've been inspired by people like you and other people that have been doing patreon and just think it'll be a cool way for us to connect with um our fans and the people that love us a little bit more intimately and uh really yeah, we're excited about that project. So that's happening now. That's our big thing right now. Awesome. Yeah. Will that be patreon.com slash the promise is hope? I th- yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Yeah, links in the description. Yes, for anyone that doesn't know what Patreon is, it's a platform for creatives um, to gain support from family, friends, um, people who love what they're creating um, in a more sustainable way. Uh, yeah, music is not an easy, sustainable thing um for people to to do but it's worth doing um and so um definitely yeah check out the promises hope when it's launched um so yeah and this is the song grateful Suffering in my fears and in my 